it's me, Luna. Hi, hello. And today we are at Aspen Yard for our gorgeous friend Sandra's art expedition. Talking to the moon. So we're just parked at Aspen Yard and our friends Claire and Sandra have got an art gallery here. So they've invited us down for Sandra's first and exhibition. I will Luna is going to interview Sandra. We're going to look at some beautiful art. and welcome to my art exhibition it's called it's not finished yet um, at the wonderful Aspen Yard Toxteth Galleries I hope I've got that right or Claire will kill me <laughs> um, and my first visitors are Janine and Luna hey, we're super privileged <laughs> I think we should I just do whatever we just have a lap talking about this. I think you should that would be the best bit. It was. Okay. What's this painting? Guess what <laughs> this one's called? Guess. Rainbow? Circle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, really, I did that one in um, George Henry Lee's. Of, of the many studios I've been able to share with Clay, that was a one from George Henry Lee's. And someone gave me an alpha and they gave me a great big canvas, so I thought, Brilliant. I've never had anything this big. And I think I might have not been sure what to do with it, so I decided to just play. Play. And to be honest with you, Luna, most of my art is just playing. Because when I was little, I loved colouring in. But when I was at school, I was never ever really encouraged with my art by any of the teachers. It was almost like, you can't draw. I think I must have been 50 before I started painting, which is a long time. And then once I started, what I realised I loved the most about painting was the colours. See that one down there? What do you think that one's called, Luna? Mm, brain? Close. My mind. It's just stunning. Absolutely. Like your personality. Oh, you little charmer, you will go well in a <laughs> TV interviewing and presenting with all that charm. <laughs> Look at this. What's these ones called, Sam? Uh, right. This, this one, number 10, is called Soul Bounce. Soul Bounce. And I did that on a workshop with Claire called Painting from the Soul Bounce. I mean, the closer you get in, there's lots and lots of layers in it. I think it's sort of me just trying to relax to the elements, a sort of powerful phoenix and a wonderful angel. Now I can I'm vouch. A big posh canoe. Well, I can vouch, can I? Because I was on the course with you. you. On the course, yeah. And I've seen this evolve from yeah. layer to layer. Yeah. Yeah. Life is just many layers. Yeah. So it was beautiful to be able to bear witness to Sam's creativity. Wandering. And I did that after I'd come back from a lovely trip to Mexico. I can almost hear Julie Felix singing well, into I this painting. Yeah, I know, I can as well. Yeah. It's got like a, a lot of Mexico in it for me, yeah. I don't, I don't think they were intentionally snakes, but when I look at them now, they look like snakes. I feel like them. Oh, this was one of the first ones I ever did. Oh yeah. The light bit. Oh yeah. That's called Planet Me. So it's almost like a bit science fiction either. It's beautiful. The waters and the little hoppity hop. Yes. Well, I'm going to interpret this in my way, aren't I? Because that's what we do with art. It has well, what I it's... think that's the thing. I mean, yeah. you know, sometimes you could say, well, well what way up does it go? I mean, so my, my way can go anyway, up like really. <laughs> Maybe apart from the faces ones. Upside down, inside down, back to front. That is 16. I've got that one on here. 
I love the dress. I really like this little bit here on this one. Dive and down deep. And this is live a prize. It's it, it's not in very good lights, you know. I'm looking to a better light. It's nice. Oh, look at that. So that one I did. Guess what I guess what I did that with? The Posca pen. Posca pen, Sharpies, tiny bit of watercolour. And I did that on holiday in Wales. Just watch it and see. Special branch. Oh. <laughs> Which bits do you like in this loom? Oh, I love the colours in those leaves, make everything pop. Yeah. And they frame the sole in the middle, don't they? So this one over here, this is special branch. Everywhere, everyone, next one that I come to, I'm like, wow. This is called Fiery Pages. Fiery Pages. It's sort of speaking in your mind. I don't know whether you can tell me, but there's sort of a book behind yeah. the red. Yeah. So that's the, the pages idea, and I suppose it goes back to a, a little bit to the fact that I've always loved writing. And I've always used writing as a way of getting the opinion of the world. Yeah. Pretty much. Inspiring pages. Sandra has a book of poetry that she kindly signed for Luna, which is at home. Most Women I Know by Sandra Richardson. Most women I know are ordinary. They'd say they weren't feminists. Scared to go out alone at night. They never stop worrying about money for the tea, money for bills, money for clothes. They keep the bottom going in the world so the top stays in place. So the whole world stays in place. Don't think they are weak. They are strong enough to look after this world with all its problems. Most women I know mend for, cook for, clean for, compensate for, pick up the broken pieces of this world. Most women I know are ordinary. They'd say they weren't intellectuals, they iron other people's clothes, have been kicked by someone bigger in one way or another. They never have time not to think, they hope, through their children, through their energy, through the good times that they have. Most women I know have unrealised power, broken confidence, don't know how much they know when they say they know nothing, could seriously change things and make the world better. Most women I know keep the bottom going in this world, so the top stays in place, so the whole stays in place. I love her, Sam. She's fierce, isn't she? Yeah. But that one is uh, definitely unfinished. <laughs> Emerging. And that was one I definitely thought wasn't finished, but... This one. I mean, the thing about them is... Unless you sell them, and if you sell them, people obviously like them as they are. Mm. You can always do a little bit more on them, can't you? You can look at them and go, oh, I'd like to add a bit well, there and a bit there. Yeah, sometimes. So that's amazing. Amazing. Wild swimming. Wild swimming. The layers in that. Oh, you could spend hours getting lost in that. These little baby eyes. I mean, I, I didn't like that one until I put it up, and I think it's very slender. Really? Yeah. And there's a bone up there. Oh, look at the woman there. Oh, I've seen that symbol in it. Like, I did that on one of those pinky selfies of goddess workshops. It was uh, the breast cancer one. Does she feel really like powerful for you? Mm. I suppose they do when I think that happened, yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. I 
this one here is really abstract, but it, I think you can you can make out some figures in that in that as well. The it's the col the emerge from the colour. Yeah. It's like all of these colours and these figures and shapes just emerge. Yeah. And I'll probably find different ones from what you might have intended. They're just That's the juicy of it, isn't it? The magic, the magic right there. Oh, it's stunning. Sam, would you mind if Luna um, interviews you? <laughs> Are you scared? What might come out? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it feels really strange. It feels amazing because I never ever thought, as I said to you before, I never ever thought of myself as an artist. And I never imagined in my wildest dreams that I'd have an art exhibition or do any art. <laughs> so I feel really lucky that uh, my wonderful wife has got a gallery and that I can put my art that's been getting dusty behind shelves up. <laughs> Well, you should, and you should feel proud of yourself. Oh, thank you. Because <laughs> it's amazing art and it deserves to be hung up. To be shown, yeah, and get and people to be able to see it. And that's quite a big thing, really, isn't it? I mean, it, it is, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really important. So I'm delighted. Absolutely so, delighted. Oh, good. So second question. If your art could sing, what would it sing? Um. Oh, it'd have to be something about colour, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, I'd definitely sing something happy and dancey, I think. Something that you could have a good dance at a disco to. I'm trying to think of um, a song. But a nice, lively, upbeat pop song. I will ponder on which one and get back to you. <laughs> God. <laughs> so I guess third question. Ooh, if you could only use one colour and its shades for the rest of your life to paint, what Blue. would it be? <laughs> that was a quick answer. That was. Blue has always been my favourite colour and I don't think it's just because of her absolutely avid Evertonian. Oh sure, true. I can see blue is your favourite colour. But I do like the colour blue, I like wearing blue, I like painting with blue, and I like watching them mighty blues. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> oh, sorry, you didn't take the questions off. Ooh, what artist is your most inspiration? Well, strangely, it's Claire. <laughs> <laughs> I thought because she's so. the person who put the paintbrush in my hand. <laughs> so she, she was the... Um, the person who sort of inspired me to even do any art in the first place but i have you know i have seen um i i have seen some great art and i don't think my favorite art is art of famous people i think my favorite art is art that people you know do on workshops in communities that anyone can can do art and my favourite thing about it is how much they're enjoying it. So, yeah. <laughs> Do you have an, a ritual before you paint? Um, not really, no. I think I just tend to... I always think, right, before you start, get organised. You know, get all your colours organised, get your paint. But normally, I tend to just do it in a very very chaotic way and almost like if I go to get a colour of yellow falls over I just go all right it's yellow <laughs> I just, one of the things that painting does is stop me thinking because I've got a very active mind that gets on my own nerves sometimes so why I like painting is because I don't really I do it best when I don't have to think yeah and so uh, my me, me, me main ritual and my main motto is, is just enjoy yourself. So I, I try and just enjoy myself by picking different colours up and putting them on the canvas and seeing what happens. 
Well, that's all you can do, I'm very. <laughs> so this final question is, do you have any advice for people who are scared to pick up a paintbrush? Um. Well, the obvious answer is don't be. But I know it's it's a lot it's a lot deeper than that. So I think just do it, you know. Try not to think about why you're scared too much or try not to be really self-critical or heavy on yourself because it's very easy to do that when you, you're painting something well, yeah. and to look at it and you go, that's crap, or I don't like that, or that's rubbish. And it's almost like what you're doing is you're sort of saying, I'm rubbish. Yeah. So the key tip, if you're terrified, is stop thinking you're rubbish and just stop thinking everything you do rubbish and just have a go. And the best thing in my life will be is, is, is if I actually do that with myself. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's like true though, because when I say that about my paintings, um, it's like you saying, oh, you like, I'm rubbish in myself. Not only is it that the, the, you think the painting's rubbish, you think yourself is rubbish. It's like saying that. And so. I think that's what art should be like. It should be a free thing. Yeah. And that people say that's good art, that's bad art, not, is what's rubbish. It's not really it? good or bad art though, is no. the... That's what's rubbish. Is people it? saying it's good or bad. bad. I mean, what's great about it is, I think like a hundred different people could look at one of these paintings and they'd see a hundred, be a hundred different things about what it's yeah. about or... And that's the wonder of art, isn't it? Really? You don't really know what it's yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Try, you know, just feel it and do it and enjoy it. Absolutely. I love that. Bye!